having that depression talk is really being able to pinpoint who is this person before okay and now that you're saying uh can i can we go out tonight for a ladies night and you say no i'm not even And thank you for joining me on Blooming Time with a Zest. As you can see, I have a guest today. Yes, Abiola by Grace. It's not my first time here. <laughs> so she also has a YouTube channel. Whoa. I'm going to leave a link in my description box. Make sure you check it out. She has been a guest before on my channel in Bloom's Kitchen. Yes. And there we uh, talked perfect. about our YouTube journey. journey and we made a delicious salmon pepper soup make <laughs> sure you check out that video <laughs> today we are going to be doing a mental health piece we are going to be focusing on depression how to do the depression talk it's long overdue so it's been long overdue That's there's yeah. so many issues going on in the society today and we are not just focusing on covid alone because there are so many things mm. so sit back relax and please don't keep this video to yourself ensure yeah. you share with your friends there is love like, and sharing <laughs> subscribe and go over to abiola by grace's channel and also subscribe we'll be right back and we'll get started thank you welcome back so today like i said we are going to be looking into uh mental health yeah. and we're going to be looking at depression for those of you who do not know i'm a registered psychiatric nurse uh, here in british columbia <laughs> canada uh, and I felt it's time we had this conversation. Like you actually brought it up that yeah. we need to have the oh, conversation yes. piece. Oh, yes. uh, there's so much going on in the world today. There is so um, much. For the purpose of the uh, conversation, I'm going to use as plain of a language as I can. So that everybody can relate and understand. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to start first by looking at what depression yes. really is. Um, for some people, you feel sometimes you're sad and you're wondering, am I depressed? Mm. So generally, depression has to occur for a long time. time. So it's something that affects your mood. So mm. the way you build feel, up. the way you think, mm. and it starts to build up over time. Mm. So for us to diagnose depression, it must have happened for two to three weeks at least. Mm. So depression is a mood disorder that affects the way you feel, the way you think, the things you used to do, do before, before you don't want to do it anymore you are just sad feeling hopeless and you can't shake it off you know there are times you are sad and or you're unhappy because you receive the sad news yes. after a while your body deals with it and yeah. you overcome it but mm. it's not so in the case of depression, depression. And I think it's important we have these conversations, yeah. especially as Christians and especially. any other religion for that matter, we tend to shy away, away from, from it when yeah. somebody is depressed. So, and even the, the depressed person too. Yes, so I was going to ask, yes. like, so how do you have that conversation mm -hmm. when I'm depressed? Mm -hmm. You know, I had an episode of this early mm -hmm. last year, mm -hmm. I must confess. So mm -hmm. how do you share? How do you have that mm -hmm. conversation? Mm -hmm. How do you start off? Mm -hmm. I think before we even do the how to have the conversation, we have to identify right. how depression shows mm. because if you yes. do not know how it shows then i can't really have that conversation mm. with you i'll just think my friend is always moody these days mm. but i won't really know what it affects so depression affects your mood so you start to feel hopeless mm. you are irritable you start to feel angry at mm. anyone or anything i don't even yes. know why yes it can affect your sleep yes. where you are not sleeping well you can maybe you used to sleep all night and now you are so restless yes. or you don't even see sleep at all mm. or you are sleeping too much mm. and then it can affect your behavior yeah, yeah you are now focus. what you used to like before you your don't desires enjoy you don't anymore. enjoy it anymore so mm. the things you used to find pleasure in maybe you used to like talking to people now you want to just keep to yourself Jeez, yeah. And then for those who are married, it's a, it can also affect your sexual health, mm. where you don't even have the drive anymore, you don't have the urge, Much. and even you don't have the wow. energy. Wow. So depression affects everything about the person. It can affect your appetite, where you don't want to eat. So there are so many ways it presents. So mood. Mm. Oh, are you going to work today? I'm not in the mood. Yes, that yes. should start to tell you what's going on. Mm. Like, have that conversation. How are you feeling? Yeah. How has your sleep been? Are you sleeping well? Mm. How is your appetite? These are things you can ask. Mm. 
Or I notice you are always irritable nowadays. I, not, before. I notice you are always angry. Okay. So this can be your spouse. This can be your friend. It can be your, your parents. Child. Can be your child. Mm. So you identifying and really validating this person. So let them talk. Let them so talk. as you are trying to extract this information, let this person talk without feeling like you're going to judge them. Okay. And by the time someone says, I don't know, my mood has been really low, I'm irritable, don't brush it off. Mm. And say, oh, maybe you just, uh, you just, don't brush it off because depression is a real mental health struggle. Yeah. And if it's not taken care of, you see a lot of people start thinking of suicide. They start thinking of self-harm. Right. So this yeah. person starts saying, I don't think I'm useful anymore. Yeah. I don't think yeah. I should be here. So these are some of the ways you can have uh, that conversation. conversation about depression. Mm -hmm. Yes. So when the person converses with you, then how do you help? Like, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes some people feel, or oh, we've heard of a few people who say maybe you're not praying enough, mm -hmm. you're not faithful enough, mm -hmm. you're not doing what you used to do before. So mm -hmm. how do we help aside mm -hmm. having to, you know, like you said, judge mm -hmm. people? Mm -hmm. So when somebody talks to you about depression, you have to understand there are resources that can help this person. Okay. So they are experts, they are professionals. So we have, like myself, I'm a, a psychiatric nurse. We have psychiatric doctors. We have psychotherapists. We have people who have been trained in this area. And we also have spiritual leaders who are very vast, who can do counseling. Well. So yeah. it's mostly about, you can go from the point of psychoeducation, where you are counseling this person, but then we have to know the reason for the depression. Mm -hmm. Like for me, when I just immigrated to Canada, I went into a period of depression because you're trying to almost find a job. Almost every one of us, actually. Yes. Almost you are trying to us. find a job to sponsor your face. work permit, and yeah. the job is not there. As mm -hmm. soon as I got my job, the depression is gone. Mm -hmm. So if it's a short, if it's a small fix like that, where you're trying to get something. You can encourage this person. Yes, Look at their resume with them and see is the resume written properly. So they are Offer actual help. steps. Offer help. And if you do not have the experience to talk to this person, yes, British Columbia has mental health uh, association or resources. So we have like the Abbotsford Mental Health. So look for the mental health resources that is in your local area. Yeah. And then you can direct this person. And then we have like the crisis intervention line. Okay. So don't procrastinate. For example, if I come to visit you and I see that I don't like the way you're talking, I can just say, can we call the crisis line? Assuming I'm not a nurse. Yeah. So there's a crisis line. Just call with that person and then they put you online with a nurse who we explore how is your emotion, how is your mood, your behavior. No, She'll ask talk. you about your sleep. Mm -hmm ask you about any underlying illness because for some people if you have issues with your thyroid it can make it can cause depression wow, right wow, so for weird. some people that's chronic weird. illness you have been sick for a long time wow. that can cause depression so these people know the exact questions to, to ask. ask that's another yes. thing asking the right asking questions. the right questions and then oh. just really validating and giving this person support and then you can now pray with them but don't think just because you are afraid automatically the mood is going to be boosted. Mm. You know, like depression is in the brain. Mm. So there are chemicals that helps you stay happy or improve your mood. Yeah. So if for any reason this chemical is reduced or it's not available, we yeah. see this person is depressed. Yeah. So there are so many treatment options available. Medication is even like almost the last resort. Wow. Some people are scared to go to the hospital. Oh, yeah. They think I don't want to be on psychiatric meds. So but there are other things like exercise. Go for a prayer walk. You're doing a spiritual exercise and a physical exercise. Yeah. Because as you walk around, like you have to actually walk like 20, 30 minutes, your brain begins to release those no epinephrine. Those are what stabilizes your mood. Mm -hmm. So you see sometimes when you're sad and you go for a walk, what happens? Yeah, you, you come back, you're lifted. Yeah, because yeah, God true. has designed your body that's to true. help cope with this stuff so your brain knows it's low it tells you go for a walk yeah. so it doesn't matter how depressed you feel drag yourself if you have to yes. go with your friend go for a 30 minutes walk and before you know it your mood is up so yeah. regular exercise three to five days and i'm not talking about going to the gym for six months <laughs> i'm just saying go I'm for a short walk and yes. just enjoy the scenario and just really 
Yeah. So it Having is having that necessary. conversation. Yeah, it is necessary to actually ask for help. Yes. As well. Yes. Be ready to be vulnerable. Even if you cannot open up to maybe your friend. Yes. Let your friend refer you to all these other people exactly. you mentioned today. Exactly. You know, exactly. for you to get the help you need. Exactly. Because it's important to treat it. Exactly. That is solid. Because most times you can get referred to like even is a counselor mm -hmm. and they use like cognitive behavioral therapy, which is more of talking to you to be optimistic. Hmm. So these people, the, the, wow. the interesting thing about the counselor is they don't give you advice. When you get there, they let you talk. Oh. And after you have talked, they get you to walk through your scenario yourself and say, Maybe what do you think is going to help? Exactly. So you are looking in what will bring out your solution. So that's why when I talk about communication technique. So wow. I listen to you. I try to retell you what you have just told me, and sometimes as I'm telling you, you you're say, understanding better. Exactly. Maybe <laughs> actually, I need to. I need to maybe I need to just rewrite my resume. Maybe <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe yeah. I need to do this thing. Wow. And for some, it's different than for others. Like for some, let let's just maybe look at some causes. If maybe somebody is grieving, mm -hmm. the body needs time to take care or to grieve properly. Oh, so postpartum. It's this postpartum. After There's also postpartum depression. Yeah. You just had a baby. Yes. I don't know how many of you have had this. You have a baby. Everybody's thinking <laughs> you should you be happy. Cry. <laughs> but sometimes you want to cry and you don't even sometimes know why. you're tired. <laughs> it's called postpartum yeah. depression. Mm -hmm. Again, speak out. Talk to someone. Or if you're calling your friend to ask how is the baby, it can be a man or a woman making this call. Ask mm -hmm. them specific questions. questions. How are you feeling? How is your emotions? I hope you're not. Uh, how is everything coming along? How is your sleep? Is your routine? How is your routine? You know. Give them time to respond. Don't mm -hmm. just let them say everything is fine. I am oh, fine. Well. And as soon as you put the phone down, they just sink back down. Mm. So it's important we have this depression piece, and it's important we get this awareness out okay. there so I that. The stigma can yeah. can just be every taken care every of. organization needs this awareness. Yes, In knowledge is yes. so powerful. Yes. Like knowledge is powerful. Yes. Every organization, you know, needs it yes. because people are suffering. Mm -hmm. There's so many complaints, so many you know suicidal talks yes. or you know yes. the rates. Yes. yes, forget even COVID, pre-COVID, and yes. even with COVID now. Yes. So yes. You so know, that is important. another very big one, suicide. Uh, that is so big, I'm going to do a separate conversation on suicide. But I want you to recognize it. When somebody starts mm. to say they think they're just going to end it all, or they don't think they are useful to their family anymore, they think they are a burden, they don't know what to do. So those are telltale signs, and don't take it lightly. Yeah. Depression is serious. Suicidal so idea is serious. Make sure you ask that person, do they have a plan? Do they have an intent? Mm. Because before suicide happens, this it's person must have plan. been planning about it. Wow. And the internet does not help. You, you, you'll be amazed at things that are online mm. that is trying to tell people how to commit suicide. So let's have this yeah. frank conversation about suicide, about depression. Let's check in on people, people. and really Maybe find out how they are doing. Yes. And for those of you who think you don't want to be vulnerable. So if I tell her how I feel, she might tell another person. And so what? Yeah. As long as I get you the help I help. need, I really, need I don't care if she tells another person. So we must come to that point of vulnerability. Yes. Yeah, it is necessary. Yes. <laughs> so we'll be right back. We're just going to take a small break. We'll be right back and yeah. then we'll just conclude and round this section up. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome back. So as we round up, I'm just going to ask uh, Abiola, so what did you think about depression before now? Or why do people not like to talk about it? Like even when I was struggling, even as a psychiatric nurse, I just tell people I'm not in the mood, right? So why do you think people don't like telling someone they're actually depressed? I think you also, you answered one of the reasons mm. earlier on that because people don't want to be vulnerable. Like mm. people don't want to mm. share. Then also mm. people are scared of being judged. Yes. People are scared of being backlashed. People mm. are scared of being, you know, talked about, mm. you know. So I think those are, those are the reasons, mm. part of the reasons why people wouldn't want to, you know, talk about, talk about it. it mm. you know, so they feel like people don't care enough. It, it, yes, that's people are not understanding exactly, enough. Exactly. Okay. Then okay. people, then it's, uh, it's just like, then it's going to seem like, oh, you're not, you're probably not doing enough as mm. you should. Okay. As well. Like, okay. you know, they'll feel like, oh, wait, 
they don't understand why mm-hmm. you should be wrong. Some, some or people maybe have like, a new mom that yeah, you're amazing. It, like, oh, I have four children actually, and I can still run around. What do you mean you're depressed with exactly, one child? Exactly, exactly. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. actually another thing. Mm-hmm. Comparing. Mm-hmm. Comparing yes. uh, situations yes. and stories. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so in rounding up, uh, I want to really thank you for coming and I want to stress about the resources that are available. So check your local community. Just go to Google and check your local community. I live in Abbotsford. We have Abbotsford Mental Health. She lives in Surrey, so they have Surrey Mental Health. So they have all these resources to help. And then if your friend is really depressed and you're worried, you can call 911. You can mm. call the police okay. or the ambulance okay. and talk to them and they will send someone there. Yeah, so yeah. that is one resource. It's 911. I'm going to leave all this link or whatever the, the yes. number yeah. is in your country. And then we have the crisis line. Ours, so, I think, yeah. is 811. Okay. So that one is any type of crisis okay. you can call. Okay. We have like the suicide line. Okay. So there are so many different resources available. And then we have like private counselors who you can go see That's for sections. Stupid, yeah. And then we have psychiatrists. So you can actually go to your emergency department in the hospital. Talk to them, you're feeling depressed. They will get a psychiatrist to see you there. Mm. You don't have to necessarily be admitted. If the psychiatrist talks to you and they feel, oh, it's something simple, maybe you have not been sleeping well, and they feel like, maybe like you, your husband is home, for example, who can watch you and you feel safe enough to be home, then we can send you home. But if you do not feel safe enough, please speak up. Yes. Sometimes you might just need two or three days in the hospital, we might just give you only sleeping meds to help you sleep rest. and just really just rest. rest. So for yeah, some, they need that rest. Mm. And if you don't need medication, antidepressants are not poisonous. They just help to secrete that serotonin or those noepinephrine in the brain mm-hmm. and helps to You're boost your mood. I know. <laughs> and you don't have to be on antidepressants all your life because again, your body is it's designed to deal with these things. Mm, so please don't be too scared or shy to look for help so we are going to put resources i'm going to put some of these links check up on google wherever you live you're in australia you're in the us you're in europe just check what your local resources are have some of these numbers saved on your phone so when somebody needs help you can easily say i have the crisis line phone on my phone let us make a call so please be ready to listen Listen mm-hmm. from this person's point of view, not from your own point of view of what you think that person should be. Mm. I hope you have really enjoyed today's section. And I want to please, please appeal. Go check out Abiola by Grace on YouTube. Her channel is awesome. I will leave a link. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe, share, share, share with your Comment. friends. <laughs> and I hope I'll get to host you again, maybe in the kitchen. Or yes, please. Yeah. I love, I love the yes, kitchen. Right. Let's talk about the kitchen episode. <laughs> so I want to really thank you for thank joining you so me today. I'll me. be so blessed by thank today's you. conversation. Thank you. And please, let's start having those uh, talk on depression, and yes. let's start having those conversation. Have it with your spouse. With your, your friends, friends, with your, your children, parents, your parents, your siblings, co-workers. and co-workers. You just reminded me something. There's an employee assisted program at work. Okay. If you are feeling depressed and you don't want to talk to anyone, there's a line. They have a phone line. You can call them. And they have resources that will help wow. you. So they help you deal with depression or any kind of stress you are going through. So until next time when I bring you another exciting content... I'll just get you to say your own uh, outro or uh, <laughs> any word for our viewers. Thank you. Let me appreciate you first for having me. Thank yes. you so much. It's such a privilege. And mm-hmm. to our viewers, thank you so much for staying glued to the screen, yes. watching us to the very end. Yes. Please don't forget to share with your friends. Mm-hmm. Share. Information is key yes. and powerful. Yes. Share, like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Yes. Okay? All right. Until next time, have a blessed and wonderful day. Bye.